This is YBR with KISS, Psycho Circus, The Nightmare Child. Uh, it's a it's a FPS game, of course, because usually I do FPS games. We're going to do a new game on Sleepless, which is the normal difficulty. If you highlight the difficulty, it says what it actually is in a very, very small text that the you probably can't bearer. read. So it's like, you play in this game, it's called KISS, Psycho Circus, and then there's people. There's Pablo Ramirez. And who's Pablo Ramirez, right? Uh, yeah, good luck with that. They were made up people. The Beast King. These people? The Celestial. Like, the Demon. You're probably just thinking, who are they? Like, none of these people are from Kiss, right? The well, we, to the, figure this out, we have to go to the history of the game. The game is based off of a comic book, Kiss Psycho Circus, which is based off of the band, well, inspired by the band Kiss. The story of the comic goes somewhere along the lines of. The tribute band to Kiss is who it surrounds. So this is a tribute band to Kiss. This is who these four people are. So if you try to choose anybody but the Star Bearer, this happens. The Nightmare Child was designed for the realm to be played in a specific order. If you choose a character other than the Star Bearer, you will experience the game. I mean, excuse me. You will not experience the game as it was intended. Do you wish to start this realm? No. Why would I want to ruin the game for myself? Don't give me that Star option. Bearer. Alright game, don't say, hey man, do you want to ruin this whole experience? No, no, why would I want to ruin my experience? I want to do this right. So we're starting with the Star Bearer, because that's who you should start with. Otherwise you ruin the game. They should have this unlocked. So I mean, some people probably were stupid enough to start this as the other person. This is the Water Realm. The old avatars are powerless, lost in the void with their masters. It is you that have been favored to be the Star Bearer's champion in this time of desperation. Your journey will be a perilous one. From the moving shadows of tattered back streets through the haze of the city heart, you must pass through hallowed halls to finally reach into the circus and strike at the root of evil. The contamination from the Nightmare Child is already seeping out of the seams of the cosmos, giving darkness eyes to see with and fangs to tear with. Steal yourself. Fear will take shape before your eyes. Alright, so it's the first level, Bad Streets. Now, when you hear video game based on comic book inspired by a band, that sounds absolutely terrible. Uh, but it's not that bad. It's alright. It all begins here. To call upon the Star Bearer, you must master his realm, cleansing it of evil while gathering the fragments of his shattered armor as you go. You'll grow more powerful with each piece until you fully evoke the wrath of the old ones. Unfortunately, the soulless spawn guard these artifacts jealously. Go now, Avatar. I will aid you in whatever way I can. All right, so that's Starbear, my character. Uh, so this game is from 2000, running on a modified version of the Litech 1.5 engine. Head if you upstairs. don't know what that means, don't worry. It's time to arm yourself. Alright, so we head upstairs, just like they say, and look at that! There's, a <sighs> some shoes. Yeah, I'm not joking, it's shoes. What am I, a woman? It's also a sword, but... the shoes. Your path to the circus goes through the city. Thus, oh wait. Your first task is to escape the roadhouse. I like lie in your way, but with a bird's eye view and the arms of the elemental water, all doors are open to you. Uh, I was mistaken about the order of things. The shoes are the next thing you get. For that one, it's actually you have a uh, uh, arm band. So you could hear it, click this, and it plays a record, which is neat. You just click it, pops a record down.
And before I get sued by Kiss. That's all you get to hear. So here's a room with a mirror and a dead end. You can try going there as long as you want, but it won't work. So uh, hopefully I don't get sued by Kiss for that five-second town uh, sound clip. I said town clip. What am I doing? Uh, anyways, what you got to do is break this shit down. The only real indication that you can is that these things are back here, so maybe you can. After that, here's a lever. You just pull it. And look at that. So this game, from 2000, by Third Law Games, and published by God Games, a.k.a. Gathering of Developers. So you can multi-kill these things. There was like four of them in those two swipes I did. Every time you attack, it does two swipes, no matter what. So like, you're gonna walk around this corner, boom, some enemies, click once, swipe, swipe. There's nothing you can do about it. It swipes twice, no matter what. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda camp this corner until they're all dead. They will run out about now, yeah. And we can break these boxes. And they have stuff in them. Go ahead and gather that stuff. Slice that one. Everything's going pretty good. Pick that up. There's a, some that are going to be coming. No big deal. Alright, there we go. Good as good as can be, I guess. You can kind of look under here, but I don't think there's anything there as far as I could tell. So, we might as well head up these stairs, right? It's a logical thing to do. Well, actually, no. Here's one alternative path. It doesn't lead to anything, but I should show it off because it confuses me a bit. You go in here, and then there's this thing you can gather up enemy attacking you but the thing that confuses me here right, so you see there's a key there you gotta get there somehow I don't know where that is because you can't jump up to this box or anything you have to get there to get the key and I have no idea where that location is you can break that box nothing in it but you can you can't break though oh you can break that one excuse me you can break these two they uh, improve your accuracy percent which is in the top left corner I missed once apparently oh well uh, that's better than my accuracy usually is so here's another enemy, just slice them. They're called headless. Don't know why, but that's what they are. That's just what they are. Uh, if you miss with one slice or whatever, but you get something in the other slice, the accuracy does not decrease. Sounds like there's some enemies on the other side of that wall. Maybe I should go over there. I don't think I was ever oh, on the other side of that wall before. All right, so here's some more boxes you can break. So far, it's all right, right? Again, some boxes you can break over there, but that's not of interest right now. Right now, we're slicing. Because there's a lot of enemies over here. You could drop these jack-in-the-boxes, which explode. And it really fucks shit up pretty good, actually. And then you can see that these enemies, their limbs fall off. If you were paying attention, their limbs will fall off when they get hurt and that they're not fully dead. Uh, right now, since this thing one hits everything, you can't really see it. That's an enemy spawner. It'll spawn them for ever. I'm going to leave it there just for a second. Pick this thing up and then see a limb fell. Like the limbs just break off slowly. So like he's missing two parts of his limb. They just keep breaking. Alright, let's try to clear this out now that I left too many spawn like an idiot. Alright, there we go. And we can break this spawner just by slashing it a couple of times. Alright, and there's a box. That's actually ammunition. Somehow I can climb this and uh, pick up the other ammunition. They can't, oddly enough. You think the spider-like things would be able to climb it. But you can. Whatever. Doesn't make much sense. You can climb this, grab that. There we go. Got all the ammunition I can. Can't do anything with those. They, they just sit there, kind of. So we can move out. Enemy over here. No big problem. This weapon works perfectly good for these enemies, even though I have a gun there is simply no need to use it because this thing one hits them before they can really get damage to you oh see I never went that direction actually so we're uh, exploring some new territory here the other time I just found the path to the exit this time I found an alternative bonus uh, path so who knows what uh, potential for crazy stuff there is besides just more enemies that's plainly obvious so if I walk around there we go Okay, we grab that. Quick save once. Let's try to jump onto that cabinet. Perfect. All right. Now, where do we go from here? What? Another one spawned? Oh, I thought I broke that thing. There we go. So there's an enemy down there. That's no big problem. I'm trying to figure out... Somehow you can get over there, I would assume. So we can jump up here. But then... Nope. 
Can't go. Th can't touch the light. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Somehow you can get up there and get stuff. I'm not really sure how though. I'll take one last look at it because I uh, never. Well, I didn't know about it. Oh, this thing broke by the way. Usually you'd have to do it on your own. I broke it when I was exploding them with the Jack in the Box. I think. So we're gonna try this again. Same strategy. Jump right on here, and then you can pop up to here. You can't seem to get over there to get across. So I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, we can quick save just in case we fall again. But it doesn't seem like there's any real way up. Oh, you can climb these cabinets. Alright, well that's, that's unexpected. Okay. Uh, so you can climb these cabinets too. I swear I tried to climb this one and I couldn't. Yeah, you can. It seems so random. Oh well. Well, I still don't know how to get to that other area, though. Over here. No idea where that is, still. That's what my goal was, too, was to figure out where that area is. Oh, well. I failed. Alright, we can hop across, grab the potion. And, again, we could look here, but... Like, like there's no... Unless, does this open? Oh, it opens! Okay. And then this is, uh... Alright, I see this. Oh, I missed twice. There's the key. There we go. I don't know what it does, but I got it. <laughs> um, we should just get to the next level. I've been dilly-dallying here a bit too much. Uh, so, I know which way to go, obviously. I should. Break these boxes. Can't pick up ammo because I'm already full. Enemy around. Slice them. As far as I know, there's nothing back here. It's kind of dark to see, but I don't think there's anything around here. Some more ammunition, which I frankly do not need. I am fully ammoed up. Huh, what's over here, actually? Ah, this is where I was attacked from earlier. See, there's a good uh, showing off of the deformation of the enemy bodies. Look at that. So that's, that's cool. You can walk where the enemies are attacking you from. That's interesting. Alright, anyways, that's not what I'm here to do. Come on, get through that doorway. Come on, there we go. That was weird. I couldn't jump half the time. Shoot that barrel. Big loud explosion. And you could pop down and go through the doorway to finish the level. And I was in the Coventry. I'm going to call it the pantry. The second armor shard is far more elusive. In the depths of the city lies the Indigo Palace, where a twisted foe awaits your challenge. It's actually Once two of them. the second shard is yours, you will be able to enter the docks where the golden mirror will guide your way to safety. Alright, so if you're like me and the first time you hear this, you just hear the word docks and you go straight to the docks. There are some enemies that you can take out beforehand. Those are stumps. But like I said, if you're like me and you hear, oh, docks, let's go to the docks without even thinking or listening really. There's an enemy spawner you can take out. I figure I might as well take it out as soon as possible just so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So take it out and gather up all the resources and kill that one. Who somehow managed to survive. If you're ever bored and you want to up your accuracy count, slash the lights and the glass and all that, and it keeps your it ups your accuracy count. Just go over here. There should be yeah, there's an enemy up here you could hit. Oh, damn, he got me good. Oh well. Should be alright. Do a quick save just in case. These ones will be Oh no, my accuracy! Oh well. So we can grab these health potions. And goodbye. Up here there's another key. This one I really don't know how to get. Like, it's in a box area, a boxed in area. You can't jump up to it. So I don't know about that one. I mean, there's no like door or roof or anything over on the other side, so it looks like you just can't get to it. Unless is that a hole maybe? That's, maybe you walk along this thing, I don't know. It's really so hard to tell because it's dark. Who knows? We'll go ahead and gather up all this stuff right here real quick. There we go. 
Slice. We can go through this area. A lot of enemies come. Alright. Thanks to this thing being able to multi-hit enemies, it actually works pretty good for crowd clearing because it one-hits them so much. Like all the earlier enemies, you could one-hit them. See that? I just cleared three enemies and one hit twice in a row, so that's six enemies and two swings. Well, four swings, but two attacks. Here's another weapon. We'll uh, mess with that in a second. Let's just clear out the enemies that are around me first. Over here we got some ammunition. I am fully ammoed up though. I don't know what I'm doing here. More ammunition. I guess I'm ammoed up for both. Okay. Now we gotta go up the ladder to get out of here. Come on. There we go. There's some other ammunition. but Oh, no. It was just all of the ammunition was for the other gun. Alright, well I got some ammo for it, so I might as well use it. Truth be told, I uh, didn't go that path the first time, and again, it's something new. Just to see what it looks like, let's shoot that barrel. Alright, it got a shotgun style blast. Simple enough. One hits the enemies, nice and convenient. Always got it like that. Pick up some health. Ah, getting surrounded. Now let's just take out that teleport. Okay, teleport down. That was easy enough. Grab the health, because I'm about half health. And we gotta jump down here. It's a little unsafe, but oh well. Can shoot some of the barrels. Alright, now I feel safer. It's weird how those dinosaur things bark. It just seems so random. I'm like, oh yeah, let's make them bark. Alright, so that doesn't break and there's nothing around here. So there's obviously a better way to go. Here, there's some explosive barrels. You can shoot them as you're getting attacked from behind. There we go. Again, up the accuracy count. Take out the glass. Maybe it just doesn't decrease it, I don't know. It's just a funny idea that it might not negatively affect it at all and increase it. So here's the proper way. There's some bonuses you can pick up right here. Health, and then a lever. Pull the lever, shit goes down. So here's the enemy they were talking about. Except, there's not just two of them. Look at those, the spikes literally come out of their eyes. There's two of them though. So they're deceptive and liars. You can shoot his arm off too. I don't know if you noticed, but that guy had his arm off. That guy only has one arm as well. Now he has nothing to his body really. Just nothing. So you right, grab everything here. Health up and boots. Shoe shopping! Yay! I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> My voice cracked and shit. Oh, but I got shoes, motherfucker. Purple shoes Good. with stars. You've done well. Head back to the roadhouse and unlock the docks. The Hall of Mirrors awaits you. Alright, well, here's the problem though. I tried this before and it didn't go so well. Oh, and that's a prowler, by the way. Which is, it's ironic because that car really didn't perform too well. But they're, they're advertising high performance gasoline. It's ironic and stuff. And I don't know. Maybe not ironic. I know. It's like, oh no, ironic's supposed to be you who's lying this, you idiot. I'm like, yeah, 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 no. Locked. See, the door's locked. So, that confuses me right here. That's where I get lost enough. I mean, like, I could have located off me. But, uh, I will if there's, you know, a demand for a Let's Play, which I will do if there's enough people saying, yeah, do a Let's Play for this. Otherwise, that is the end of this game for me. There's a couple more enemies charging at me, though. You can always kill. Nothing wrong with killing. Uh, but, it, you know, if you want to Let's Play, request it. Otherwise, that'll be the end for the, uh, this game. Until next time, this has been YBR. See ya. I'll actually just point it out. You can't go back there, because they did say go back to the, uh, there to or like the roadhouse to, and then to the docks but like, i'll just look it up hopefully it has somebody you know wrote something about it but 
uh, I'm not gonna bother for this video. So yeah, till next time, Marby. I just got stuck. I'm stuck. Shit. I'm literally stuck. Like every time I start to end this video, something crazy happens or something I think of. Oh whatever. Uh, bye, people.